Hey guys, so we have this legendary summon banner out. Uh, <laughs> so we have a few things to talk about here. So the first thing is obviously this is not a very good banner. This is not a very good character. This is the Turles Movie Spirit Bomb Base Form Goku. Now, the banner does have 10 featured characters, which you guys might be a little bit confused about considering they changed the amount of featured units available on a legendary summon banner not that long ago. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? So there we go, 10 featured units. This is the first banner on Global that has a pity attached to it. So if you guys look at the top left corner here, we have this new legendary summon coin limited. This is this was the literally just added to the game. Uh, this is the first banner that this is available on. A treasure you can acquire through sp uh, specified summons can be used at the Baba shop. So if we go to the Baba shop here and we go to the treasure tab, there is a new section, uh, which I guess that it might not be available to me unless I actually have a coin. Um, but there should be a section here that is that coin. And in that section, uh, I guess we'll do one summon here and then I'll, I'll just show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, so with that coin, you can go ahead and buy a copy of the new LR character. And that copy of the character should cost, I believe it's 200 coins, which means it's a thousand stones to get a guaranteed copy of the new character, which is basically the new pity system for these legendary summon banners. Now that's factor number one. Factor number two is you can see we have steps on the summon. So we have two summons remaining and it even says, I believe, uh, no, actually does it on the bottom? No, it doesn't. Oh no, it does, in the, right in the middle. After performing two multi-summons, you are guaranteed to recruit a featured character in the next multi-summon. So you actually get seven rotations of that. So you get seven guaranteed SSR multi-summons. I'm gonna start summoning right now because I've been talking for a while. Um, in my opinion, the guaranteed featured SSR multis, when you think of it as a collective seven guaranteed featured SSRs, that to me is probably more valuable than being able to just get a copy of the character. At least in my opinion, it's probably pretty close, right? You're, you're, you're probably going to get a lot of value out of both. But if I had to compare both of those features and those new features to the, the new system on these uh, legendary summon banners, I gotta go. I gotta go with the the, the guaranteed feature every, seven times. That's crazy. So, those are the new systems here. Oh yeah, after this uh, summon, I'll check and see if we can access that portion of the shop because for some reason we weren't able to see it. All right, so uh, let's just zip through these here. LR Beerus, okay. And there's Flash. Okay, let me just collect these coins. Uh, by the way, there's no, like, peel-off trove pack for this at all. Okay. So if we go over... No, wait, what the... What? Oh, they, they changed the order of the shop. That's why. So for some reason, the red coins are now over here. Okay. Oh, here we go. So here is the shop for the Goku. So as you can see, we only have one copy we can purchase here because it says one time remaining uh, for 200 coins. And then you can convert these coins to gold coins as well. And if you don't convert these coins to gold coins, the banner, when, when the banner goes away, it'll automatically convert them for you. So that's basically the gist of how this new system works. I think it's very, very good, of course. Um, the only question is going to be, is this something that they're going to bring to other banner formats and not just keep it for the legendary summon banners? I would assume no. Right? I've seen a lot of people talk about this on the, on the you know, on Twitter and stuff like that. Um, that this is like their trial period for this this summon system, this pity system. I'm not so sure because if you guys remember back to the newsletter they released, they specifically mentioned that this system was implemented because of the fact that when they implemented the carnival system, the legend the, the normal gold coin legendary summon banners started to feel a little less a bit less special. Okay, that's they're, they're featured at least. Um, the gold coin banner started to feel a bit less special. So this implementation of the system of the seven guaranteed featured characters and then the, uh, the the pity system was a way for them to bring back that special feeling and, and feeling of uniqueness to this banner format. So because they said that specifically was the reason for this, I don't know if they're going to then bring this format to other types of banners, but we'll see. Maybe, you know, two years from now, they might do it. Right. We don't know. 
so that is something to keep in mind uh, for now i don't I, I would not anticipate that they bring this over to uh, other banners like dokkan fest banners or or carnival banners anytime soon all right just 17. but with all that aside with all that aside uh this banner is really bad <laughs> to say very bad banner and the main reason why it's very bad is because the new character believe it or not is actually quite i don't want to call him bad because he's not bad but he's quite unimpressive i guess is the right uh, phrasing for this character to describe him he is quite unimpressive all right so here we go we have one more multi here and then we get another uh, guaranteed featured multi uh okay tian and chao su zeno no I guess them like them compensating for the new changes by them adding three more featured characters is kind of annoying at the same time because it's like if you're not somebody who's really going to gun for like the the, the pity or the um all like all seven rotations like it might hurt you actually if you're someone who wanted to summon the banner that trunks is yeah that trunks is featured it has to be oh no that was a guaranteed featured multi never mind that was a guaranteed featured multi we got Tian and, or, um, Goten and Trunks flying in. Ace Worms, double screen crack, maybe? Come on. I would prefer not going super mega deep for this, uh, this Goku. This Goku is, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, there are a few redeeming qualities about him. I guess I will mention that. Uh, number one, I think his active skill animation is pretty good. Uh, the Axe Gold itself is probably not the greatest. It's pretty easy to get off, but in terms of what its effect is, like, he doesn't guaranteed crit on it. He's not really doing anything special at all. It's literally just damage with no additional effects. Um, but the animation for the Active Skill is very good. And then, honestly, probably the best part about this character overall is his OST with the Active Skill is really, really good. Like, it's one of the better OSTs in the game, I think, easily. All right, so we got Yadrobi, who is featured. Okay, we got a fake out here. And it is God Goku. Definitely don't need God Goku. All right. This might be, yeah, this is the guaranteed multi. Guaranteed featured, let's go. Vegeta and Goten, please fuse. Okay, I mean, there's a good chance this is, a good, this is the Goku, right? Guaranteed featured, plus we got a Vegito Blue animation. Uh, so we got Goku and Gohan already. We have not pulled Golden Frieza, who was also featured. So maybe it's him. We'll see. Come on. Give me that Goku. Goku? It's going to be the last character. The, the guaranteed featured slot is the 10th slot. It's Golden Frieza. God damn. Okay, so we've pulled, <laughs> so we've pulled all the uh, LRs that are featured. <laughs> of course. We've pulled both of the other featured LRs, not Goku. All right, Hercule on Boo. Cool. This is going to be one of those things where it's like they added uh, this like great new system to the gold coin banners, and now it's like my luck's going to get worse on these banners. <laughs> is that what we're about to do here? Let's see. Okay, nice. That's number two for them. Um, I guess one other thing we can mention too is you can exchange SSRs that you pull for the limited coins. I'll, I'll probably even just show that after this, just so that you guys can see that visually. But uh, you don't necessarily have to use a thousand stones to get uh, the new, like the cop the guaranteed copy of the character. Let me hold it. Let me just get through this. Okay, so we just pulled that STR Spirit Bomb Goku, right? So if we go to the Baba Shop, and then we go to... Here, here we go, at the top. For Legendary Summon Coins Limited. Like, we can go to the Spirit Bomb Goku I just pulled, and boom, we can exchange him for three coins. So yes, you need 200 coins to get the guaranteed copy of the new unit, but you don't necessarily need to use the Thousand Stones that you would normally need to use to get all those coins because you can exchange SSRs that you don't need for those coins too. So again, the system is very good. It's just uh, there is a bit of a drawback in that they, they they increase the amount of featured units on the banner and also the fact that it's only on gold coin banners. But I, overall, I do think this is, a, this is a vast improvement to the format. Okay, we really pulled that Goku. Thanks. Yeah, we pulled that. 
The wrong, the, we pulled the wrong Turles movie Goku. Thank you. Uh, all right. I, I would rather not go super deep into this terrible, awful, like beyond trash banner. This is, especially with us knowing that we're going to be syncing up with JP, right? Like them teasing us in advance that we're going to be syncing with JP. Like this is such a terrible idea to summon on. I, I actually I can't think of a single good reason why you would summon on this banner unless you for some reason just like really like this version of Goku, which would be a little weird to me. But I guess, you know, maybe you just like this version of Goku for whatever reason. I again, I, I just don't I actually I can't think of a single good reason. I can't. And we just can't pull him. It looks like <laughs> we just can't get him. Th thank you. Ten featured unit banner now. All right, who, who have we not pulled? Got him, got him, got him. I've not pulled them. I've not pulled him. No. Yes. 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 All right, so we've pulled more than half of the featured units now. Okay. No fusion. Probably not going to go for a ton of time on this. We'll see. We're 11 minutes in, it looks like. Okay. There's Krillin. All right. We, we got to be approaching the end of our guaranteed featured holes here. Tien and Shao Tzu. All right. This might be one of those situations where, like, we have to pull every other featured unit before we have a chance of pulling the new one. That's a, a, a that that's a that's a great uh, great system. Oh, there he is. Okay, cool. And there's the same one, but okay, there's another Krillin. An interesting multi there. All right, well, we got one. That's good. Uh, okay, one of us are guaranteed. Okay, so the next multi is going to be the guaranteed feature. Hercule Boo? Zeno? Double? Double in a row? This could be another one. If we get back to... Oh, there's a god animation too. Back to back Goku, and then we could buy a third copy with the, with the coins. All of a sudden, we're looking pretty good. What? It actually is him! <laughs> okay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Give me a third one. <laughs> I'm being greedy today. We are getting... Oh, I thought it was going to be a fake out. We, we have two more SSRs in here. Okay, unrelated. And, okay, blue pickle, sure. Okay, I mean, this is going to be... The guaranteed. I think this might be the final guaranteed featured multi. We'll see. That's a little strange. Boo, Gohan, and Trunks. This is. I'm pretty sure this is the guaranteed featured multi. I think. Should be. God, God animation again? No. Screen crack? No. They're not featured. They are featured. Okay, that's number three for them. Uh, no, we have more still. Okay, I think this this has to be the final rotation, right? I think it has to be. Because it's seven rotations. Yeah, so the way, the way it works out is you get seven rotations of the three multis each to get the guaranteed featured multis. So the way it works out is that's 1,050 stones for, to get through all the rotations. And the, way, the reason why they made it that way is so that when you're done with all the guaranteed featured multis, you'll have enough coins to buy the character guaranteed. Okay. So again, this is this is the final of our guarantee. Oh, double screen crack. This is the final um, rotation that we have for the guaranteed featured units. Okay, that doesn't matter. Okay, number three. We only need one more. Base Goku and base Vegeta LRs. Okay, so this is Goku number three. Again, I believe this is the final guaranteed featured multi that we have. Because I, I didn't... Yeah, because I came in with like 3,300 stones here. Or whatever it was. So this is going to be the final multi. You know what? We, we might make this the final multi of the video. I mean, if we pull the last copy here, then I mean, that's all we need to do anyway. Let's see. Let's go. Let's see what we get. 
Krillin and Fat Boo. This is a guaranteed featured multi here. Okay. All right, the next unit's featured, right? Krillin and Go- I don't think we pulled them actually the entire time. Do we pull everybody now on the banner? Yes, 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 yes. We did not pull Gotenks. Gotenks, I think, is the only uh, character we did not pull. You know what? Because we just need one more, I'm just going to keep going until we pull the last copy, and then we'll be done. And then we can just rainbow him. Which will technically be our fourth copy, but then we can just buy the fifth copy with coins, right? Yeah, I mean, we have four copies and a thousand stones. I mean, that's good, obviously. For a gold coin banner, I mean, that's almost unheard of, right? Before this change was made. So I uh, can't in good faith really complain about... And we're done. <laughs> okay, sure, man. I uh, cannot complain whatsoever about this change. It seems to be a pretty good change from what I'm able to see here. Okay, so now we can do... I have to accept my coins first, actually. Okay, 200 exactly. Uh, we have 220 though, because I accepted the first two multis, right? So now we can come over here. We have four copies of the Goku, as you can see. Let's go ahead and purchase our fifth copy. And we are done, he's rainbow. That was one of the most painless banners I've ever summoned on. And I mean, did we, I don't think we actually technically got a Goku off of the uh, the 10th guaranteed slot in any of those guarantees. Did we, did we get a single copy of the character in the guaranteed slot? I don't think we did. I think we just got lucky straight up. But the pity did come through with that copy. So again, very painless, uh, not exactly a crazy new unit or a good banner at all, but uh, I'll take it. And it's a good introduction to the great pity system that they are trying out here with this uh, legendary summon. So. If you guys, for whatever reason, maybe you're just a gigantic Turles movie fan or, or something like that. Uh, if you did, did decide to summon on this banner, let me know how they went down below. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the new pity system too, because um, again, people are hoping that this gets implemented for different versions of banners, Dokkan Fest, Carnivals, whatever, but I'm not so sure because of the comment they made in the last uh, newsletter. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one regardless, and I will see you all in the next one.